Hi, everyone, and thanks for meeting with us today to talk about how the addition of our new document builder feature for Acrobat Sign for Salesforce, which not only adds value and a new competitive advantage to Acrobat Sign, but also helps set the stage for a new competitive playing field in the e-signature space. My name is Jenny Ho, and I am driving our product marketing efforts for a lot of our ISV partners in Document Cloud. So today I want to talk through just why Adobe and Salesforce, what are we seeing today in terms of market trends and challenges? Let's talk through the Adobe e-signature and document generation solution, which is really exciting because it's brand new. I'll go through some customer references and results. And finally, I'll let you guys know how you can get a free trial um, of Document Builder app as well as our Acrobat sign. All right, so why Adobe and Salesforce? Well, we have a very robust solution. In case you guys don't know, Acrobat Sign actually works across many different clouds within Salesforce. So we have your Salesforce Sales Cloud, which is super popular. We also work across uh, Service Cloud, Community Clouds, CPQ, Financial Services Cloud, and Health Cloud, amongst a lot of others. And a lot of typical use cases that you will see that people use Acrobat Sign and Salesforce is things like, like agreement templates, document generation, which we'll talk through, digital signatures, payments, signing and non-signing roles, process builder for workflows, and just everything, you know, in terms of signing capabilities, experiences, and workflows to streamline basically your document workflows. So we'll touch on that in a little bit. But in terms of our integration, our Salesforce partnership comes with five-star benefits, mainly because we're a five-star rated app on the app exchange. People love us. Salesforce customers love us because there's really no coding required. It's built on the Salesforce platforms. So it's really easy to plug, play, and deploy. It leverages the Salesforce admin and user deployment. So everything stays within Salesforce. And it's really just enhanced step-by-step -step workflow wizard that we have inside that works within the Salesforce Lightning and also Classic. So users are able to send, create, sign on any device, including mobile. And we are at that round with a wrapper that has multiple authentication methods that includes government ID verification. So really cool stuff. All right, so let's talk through really quick the challenges. It's probably no secret to you that the process of creating sales documents is painfully slow and very error prone. And according to Forrester, it takes about an average of three to four weeks to create and approve the average sales contracts. And that's just one example. Sales reps have to create a whole host of different document types, including quotes, proposals, invoices, statements of work, change orders and more. And these are all data-driven documents. And because that data changes very frequently, reps spend about 47% of their time researching data, sending emails to get content approved, reformatting the documents so they appear professional. And even after all that work, error happens that can increase business risk. And all this time, the clock is just ticking, right? In a sales environment when the early contract often wins the deal. And so there must be a better way, right? Um, and thankfully now there is. So the solution is really Document Builder, which is really e-signatures that we have that are very robust, right? Highly rated by IDC and Gartner. Plus now the new added feature of Document Builder, which is all in one platform for a single price from a single vendor, right? So now we've really converged two markets into one, creating a next generation platform that is really superior to the competition. So let's talk about why this is in, so important, right? So by taking a look at the trends that are driving the e-signature marketplace, we can start with the look in the rearview mirror. When the pandemic first closed the offices and required social distancing, e-signature platforms really help businesses keep going, right? They become essential to business continuity, ensuring that governments and businesses of all sizes could process agreements to provide the goods and services that everyone needed. And as time went on, the need for e-signatures continued to grow. So today, the market is growing at more than 36% per year. And as organizations rely more on e-signature platforms, they want more from them, right? So in 2021, IDC identified the top trends in the e-signature space, and they 
fall into three categories. First is really organizations want to automate document workflows that are adjacent to the approval and e-signature phases, starting with the earliest phase, right, which is really document generation. Second, they want enterprise-grade platforms that are stronger with security, compliance, and scalability. Last, they want their e-signature platform to offer greater value, so including the tight integrations with the enterprise applications that they already rely on, flexible deployment models, and the promise of advanced technologies like AI. Now, to demonstrate the benefits of document generation, let's take a look at the process organizations have used in the past. So there's steps to find the data, to re-enter it, and then reformatting it, it's all very manual, right? But once the document was created, the Salesforce and Acrobat Sign integration automatically automates the process. So the remaining phases often get the agreements signed in minutes, right? So this is a typical workflow. Now let's take a look at fast forwarding today. IT and document builder can enable a document template and just format automate in minutes, right? So once a sales rep utilizes it, the document can be completed in seconds and then it's automatically on its way for e-signature. So what once took eight steps is now down to four and everything is completely automated as you can see today. All right, so what can you save by automating DocGen with Document Builder? First, consider how much you save in the time and resources with DocGen solutions like Document Builder, but also imagine the productivity gains and potential revenue benefits of having your sales reps spend more time selling, as well as the impact of lower business risk, because you can now count on you know, content accuracy and how faster cycle time will impact your top line revenue, right? Wouldn't it be nice to increase your ROI on the most precious human resources and your IT budget? I think so. <laughs> now let's quickly take a look at how it all works. Today, I'm going to demonstrate a powerful new solution that can significantly simplify and enhance how you would generate and pre-fill documents for signature out of Salesforce. This is an add-on for Acrobat Sign for Salesforce named Adobe Document Builder. Instead of just using static document templates, Document Builder allows you to dynamically generate a document prior to sending for signature. Just like Acrobat Sign for Salesforce, this is a new capability that is included with your Acrobat Sign licensing. So here we are in Salesforce. But before I show you the end user experience, let me touch base on the setup required for each of your document workflows. Each workflow will have an agreement template that defines the agreement name, Salesforce object type, like opportunity or account, for example. In addition to static documents and templates, a new document template type called document builder template has been added. Let me open one that I've created already. These new templates drive a new process that build your documents on the fly, leveraging Salesforce data and rules that determine what data is mapped into the document, as well as dynamic tables or conditional phrases or sections. Here, you can see I've included all the Salesforce fields that will drive this specific workflow. Document Builder generates tag names for each of these, even including opportunity-related data, such as account, opportunity owner, contact, etc., as well as dynamic table data such as product line items. We use these tag names to build a document builder word template like you would see here. Adobe has developed a word add-in that assists in laying out all of the fields in the appropriate place in the document. I can create conditional rules that determine which phrases or sections are included or not based upon the Salesforce data. This allows you to use one single word template there are places many static documents that otherwise have to be maintained. Now from the user perspective, I'm back in Salesforce, click on the opportunities. Now within the opportunities, I've got my send button here. I can click on that and there's my sales order agreement template that I just created. It takes me directly here to the agreement template where I can make changes if I need to. But most importantly, you can see that the output of Document Builder document generation has been included directly here in the agreement template. From here, 
I can hit send. Because I'm the first signer, I'm taken directly to the Adobe Acrobat sign screen where I can sign the document. And that's it. Click OK. And from there, the document is sent to the customer for final signature, and you can see it's waiting for counter signature. I really want to emphasize the fact that we've been able to reduce many steps into one single click of a button where I can generate the document, pre-populate the form, and send it for signature, all within one step, eliminating errors and especially time. So the document builder feature is recently introduced. And so we have comments from our beta customers just about their experience. And here is just some high level feedback that confirms the power of document builder compared to a competitor such as Nintax. The organization's current doc gen tool right now with this user document builder was able to handle even some of the most complex document automation workflows that Nintax draw loop could not perform. But the benefit that the IT team was most excited about was that the fact that Document Builder was integrated as an element part of Acrobat Sign for Salesforce. That meant a significant reduction in the management and complexity for them managing two systems. So let's take a hard look at what your current e-signature platform is doing for you. Can it automate every phase of your document workflows in Salesforce? Are you confident that when you automate those workflows, they will be secure and compliant by design? Can you confidently standardize on those automated workflows in the key geographies in which you operate? And are you giving your staff and customers the high quality digital experiences that they expect? And last, are you tired of being just charged extra fees for functionality that should really be included in your e-signature license fee? All right, my last question is, how could you benefit from Acrobat Sign's overall proven leadership? Now, we do have an exceptional Salesforce integration, right? But consider the benefits of having 100% automated workflows that you can trust with all the robust features and integrations that you need, all included in one license fee. IDC said it well, right? You can consider and you should consider our solution if you want a robust global enterprise class signing solution, one that you can integrate with Salesforce as well as our other enterprise applications that you already rely on. Let me leave you with this as a closing thought. You know, if you guys want to check us out, please get our free Acrobat Sign trial and Document Builder app. You know, you can get a free trial, take it for a test run. You know, here's how you get the free trial. Click on the link. And after that, you know, feel free to download our Document Builder plugin on the Salesforce app exchange as well. Everything is free. You can try it out. If you have any questions or you want to just talk to someone, schedule a meeting, give us a call at the 1-800 number.